Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my sad and solemn duty to inform you that five Australian soldiers have been killed in two separate incidents in Afghanistan over the last 24 hours. Two soldiers have also been wounded in these incidents. The first incident occurred inside patrol base Wahib, approximately 20 kilometres north of Tarankot in the Baluchi Valley. In the first incident, three Australian soldiers from the 3RAR task group were shot and killed when an individual wearing an Afghan National Army uniform opened fire with an automatic weapon from close range. Their comrades made every effort to revive the three soldiers, but unfortunately their wounds proved fatal. Two other Australian soldiers were also wounded in the shooting. One soldier sustained serious gunshot wounds and has been evacuated to the Mali National Base Tarankot for further treatment. He remains in a satisfactory condition. The second wounded soldier suffered minor wounds in the shooting and following first aid at the site remains at the patrol base. Australian soldiers returned fire but the perpetrator fled from the patrol base and operations are underway to detain the individual. We have now notified the families of all the soldiers involved and defence personnel continue to provide assistance. At this time, we are focused on supporting the soldiers' family, families and their comrades and ensuring the wounded soldiers receive the best possible medical treatment. The soldiers' families have asked that, they, that we do not release any personal details at this time. However, I can give you some information about the three soldiers who were killed in the first incident. All three soldiers were based at Gallipoli Barracks in Brisbane. The first soldier was a 40-year-old Lance Corporal posted to the 2nd 14th Light Horse Regiment, Queensland Mounted Infantry. He was on his second tour to Afghanistan and had previously deployed to Iraq. The second soldier was a 23-year-old private posted at the 6th Battalion, the Royal Australian Regiment. And the third soldier was a 21-year-old sapper posted to the 2nd Combat Engineer Regiment. Both these young men were on their first operational deployment. Our primary concern in Afghanistan is the safety and security of our Australian Defence Force members. ADF personnel in Aruzgan were already operating at a level of force protection beyond current ISAF requirements. However, as a result of this incident, all Australian personnel, in cooperation with Afghan commanders, have adopted enhanced force protection measures, including additional security while an initial investigation into the shooting is underway. That said, Afghanistan remains a difficult and dangerous environment and an element of risk will always exist with our forces. A team from the Australian Defence Force Investigative Service is moving to the site and an ISAF investigation team is also reviewing the incident. Regretfully, a second unrelated incident has occurred early this morning, local Afghan time. Two Australian Special Forces soldiers were killed when the ISAF helicopter they were travelling in crashed during a partnered mission in Helmand Province. Early reporting indicates the aircraft was attempting to land in the mission area when it crashed. There's no indication of enemy action causing that crash. An ISAF air crewman was also wounded in the crash. Special Operations Task Group and Afghan National Security Force personnel have secured the site. And an air accident investigation will be conducted and the ADF will offer a qualified investigating officer to insist, assist with the investigation. This operation is ongoing, so I cannot disclose the location or provide any further operational information on the mission at this time. We have spoken to both soldiers' families, and again, they have requested that we not, do not release any personal details at this time. However, I can tell you that one soldier was a 30-year-old private who had deployed on several operational tours. The second soldier was also a private. He was 23. And he was on his second tour of Afghanistan. 
I've spoken to the Minister for Defence and the Chief of the Defence Force, who are both returning to Australia from overseas. Minister Smith, General Hurley and General Morrison, the Chief of the Army, extend their deepest sympathy to the family, friends and comrades of our fallen soldiers. And their thoughts are with the wounded soldiers and their families. Australia's lost five men today. They were soldiers who were committed to serving our nation. I cannot begin to describe the overwhelming grief that their families are experiencing. But I want them to know that the Army and the ADF community share their anguish and will continue to support them and care for them. On behalf of the defence community, I offer my sincere condolences to the soldiers' families and their friends. This is a terrible day for all of us, and our thoughts and prayers are with those who have been touched by these incidents. Individually, these are both complex incidents. The fact that they have occurred in such a short period of time creates an extremely complex scenario that's continued to unfold throughout the day. As I'm sure you'll appreciate, our first priority will always be to speak to the families before we release the details of any operational incident 